So we're getting into pretty big uh, airspace over here. We're going to pass Chicago Center. If you can see, I don't know if you can see. Four one three Papa Charlie, Chicago Center, Roger. The uh, the precipitation outside that window, but there is some nasty weather out there, and you can see that nasty weather on the display down here in green. That is what's right off our left wing here. Sky West sixty fifty seven cross. And this and weather right here, 1, 1, 000, this is really where this last conflict comes into. I can avoid it. I'm I'm about eighteen miles away from it, maybe a little less. Uh, no, about seven, ten miles away, which is really where I want to be. I'm avoiding that traffic. I mean, I'm avoiding that weather. This little diamond is actually traffic. He's 3,000 feet below me, probably a uh, VFR pilot, uh, avoiding the layers up here. So that weather off to my left or from my left wing is pretty nasty. Uh, that would be both uncomfortable, wet, and uh, kind of dangerous in a light airplane if uh, you get into some bad turbulent area. So one of the things on when we fly these long flights, I do them, is uh, I bring these little disposable urine and vomit bags. And uh, you can see I need them. <laughs> Three hours, I'm going to keep myself hydrated. It's a way to make sure that we can land the airplane safely and be hydrated when you get to uh, our first stop to fuel. So I want to make sure that everything is uh, good to go with my body. And so I bring these pee-pee bags, as I call them. Uh, Maybe too much information. I also wear an adult diaper on this airplane when I any, do any flight over two hours. And it's not really for more than anything not to use, but just in case of an emergency. And when I have to use one of these, I get a little uh, sloppy. So I don't want it to be sloppy. And so I uh, make sure that I'm uh, prepared. So that's a little secret uh, how we fly these little planes for our distances. And we'll check Thank back you, with you when we get something interesting to say.